They say a chorus of hope begins with one voice. For those living on the streets of New York City, it began with two, George and Harriet McDonald. Again and again, homeless people told them what they needed most was a room and a job to pay for it. A hand up, not a hand out. So George and Harriet created Ready, Willing and Able to provide just that. A chance for these men to better their city and most importantly, themselves. I got caught up into self-destructive behavior with alcohol and cocaine. Living in the streets was hell. And in 2020, I had heard about the Doe Fund. I went from probably kicking the bucket to pushing the bucket. Having this responsibility for this room and paying for it and earning my own way and earning my own keep just blossomed into having my own apartment and now taking care of my seven-year-old twins. Everybody wants to be a father to their children. They want to have dignity. They want to recognize their own self-worth. They want to go to work. They want to be in the mainstream. Ready, Willing, and Able uplifts the men that we serve, but it also, and just as importantly, uplifts their children, the mothers of their children, and their communities. While people see the visible men in blue sweeping the streets, they are in their transitional housing facilities, getting case management, filling out housing applications, doing advanced training opportunities, building a better life for themselves. When I started back at the Doe Fund in 2000, it was the only program saying, hey, we trust you to do a job, and we are going to support you in doing that, and we're gonna pay you but the Doe Fund has evolved even further. My mom passed away when I was three. My adopted mom and me didn't get along, and there was some um, abuse, and then I got into the shelter. I got diagnosed with schizophrenia. I got kicked out of my mother's apartment, and I stayed in the shelter for two, three years, all the way until I moved into the Doe Fund. And so over the past decade, they have built 10 gorgeous, state-of-the-art housing, more than 1,000 units that go to low-income New Yorkers, returning veterans, senior citizens, others who are struggling with mental or physical disabilities. Here I feel secure. The feeling of not having to get rid of things every time I have to move into another shelter. And with my oldest daughter, she was just very playful, the space to run around, be herself, and I love seeing that. I was grateful and thankful for opening up the doors to me. It's just not a place to live as a community. So I feel like it's been a blessing to be here. You don't know how beautiful it is to have a home until you don't have one. We have served thousands of homeless individuals, and with your help, we will serve thousands more going into the future.